We're back with more random battles to the top, and I am still at the Orlando Regional, so this is pre-recorded from Friday. But here we go. Vaporeon and Eclodzai are not really that bad. We'll find out if they're unaware or if they're un uh, water absorbed. And the reason I want to find that out immediately is for Kyogre. So, we, uh, we lose to T-Spikes completely. But I could Terra Poison Vaporeon if it comes down to it. In fact, should I pre-Terra Poison just so that I have the option to do it? That'd be a crazy play to make. I am weak to hazards, though. I am i don't think... That would be really crazy to Terra Poison immediately in anticipation of T-Spikes here. But the problem is they might not even have it. So is it worth doing all of that for, you know, like a 15% chance of happening? Maybe? I'm gonna flip turn, though. They Terra Flying? That's weird. I don't understand that. They're unaware, okay, but why would you Terra Flying? Were you that scared of Vaporeon? Maybe. They, they must have been incredibly scared of Vaporeon the way they played that. Now, what do I do? I have Wild Charge from a boss if I have Zekrom. The reason Zekrom might be a little more sketchy is because it's weak to Earthquake. They're gonna get hazards up here. In fact, now that I think about it, they must be T-Spikes. Okay. Well, they're going to get hazards up here. Do I go Zekrom immediately? I do. The Gunk Shot, no poison. Overall, really good. No T-Spikes going up either. And they're giving me a hint that if they felt the need that even Vaporeon was too good, that they had to tear out of it, Maybe Kyogre is really good. They substitute? Okay. More information that Kyogre could be good, because two ground-type Pokemon. I kind of don't want to lock into Outrage here. I'll go, I'll go Vaporeon. We can Scald Burn now. Go Fishing. They Stealth Rock. That was unstoppable. I could have gone Kyogre immediately, but I didn't want to risk it. 30. We get that Scald Burn, too. Wish... Flip turn. Now, here's the problem. I'm weak to Stealth Rock, so for example, Delphox takes a lot of damage too. Mabostiff could be the right idea. I actually like Mabostiff, because we have Stake Out on it. Yep, and because we've burned it, now we have Crunch, and if they switch out, my power gets doubled. So that's incredibly strong here. Dondozo's taking a lot. 78. And, if they switch out again, the next Pokemon is also taking a lot of damage, and they've already given up Terrestrialization, so we're going to pick up Dondozo, that's wonderful. They go to Ninetales. That's tricky, but I have Kyogre, who switches in to stop Aurora Veil. Vale. Yep, that is... I'm going to go for it. Just going to pick it up. Okay, now my boss shift looking really good. Claude Zyre, Mudsdale don't match up well. I'm going to get one more off. They're going to Shadow Sneak. I'm going to Water Spout for damage. Moltres. Or... Yeah, I do want to keep Kyogre alive. For Origin. Terra Water Origin both is still strong. Fiery Wrath into... I have Hurricane too, which is cool. I actually like Hurricane more. It's stronger damage if they switch out. And I, I didn't get the one-hit KO with Dark Pulse anyway, and I get confusion chances. It was overall good for me to ev even, even attempt it. You know, they have to respect Flinch, so they're going to recover. And I go my boss diff on that. Yep, now we have one more stakeout crunch. This is turning very good. They'll probably... They're staying in for damage. Um, I knock you out, okay. Now, what we have to be careful is we don't want a final Pokemon to randomly beat us, so we want to keep speed on the team. That's why we have Kyogre alive. We want to keep power in front of setup opportunities. Chiyu, okay. Yeah, definitely not concerning at all. We can even let Mabostiff die, it's done its job. Yeah, not concerning because we have Scarf Kyogre. And we have Delphox too, for that matter. 
is thunder okay this is trickier than i thought because i'm gonna have to hit it and i'm gonna have to hit an inaccurate move no matter what either with delphox or with kyogre okay got it so i would have had if i missed with kyogre i would have to try it with delphox so we hit it so we don't have to worry about that i could have water i could have water spout as well that was a choke for me i could have used water spout but in any case not punished and we move up to 23 26. We get a game, okay. Calrix into Weavile. That's bad. We have Colossal though, we have Diancie too. Let's go fishing here. A Swords Dance, annoying. Uh, I'm just gonna Flamethrower. They could low kick. Um, if it happens, it happens, I go to Diancie right after. I could Terra Ghost. Then. The reason Terra Ghost would be good is because ordinarily trading one for one isn't great, but if you remove a Pokemon that could stop Calyrex, then all of a sudden that's a good trade to make. So, but I think I'm just going to Flamethrower. Low Kick doesn't Oko anyway. So they'd have to hit into that, get Flamethrowered. So it's not really worth it at all. I could Stone Edge too, but I like the reliability of Flamethrower having, you know, guaranteed accuracy. They could Terra Fighting too, to be honest. That would be... Well, if they Terra Fighting, I go to Dancy right after and I'm not too worried about it. They do Terra Fighting. No Flame Body Burn, but I go to Dancy now. That was a decision to Terra Fighting early and I'm going to hope it punished by Calyrex Shadow doing well. Okay, we're going to take that. We'll Diamond Storm. Okay, yeah, so we, we removed the Terra at the cost of like 1.8 Pokemon. Okay, they go to Plusle, which I don't like. Now we have at least close combat coming in. They do have the Fairy type move. I want to remove Plusle for Calyrex Shadow. They go to, okay, they have way too many Pokemon faster than Calyrex. This is a bad matchup for the Calyrex Shadow Pokemon, but it's a good matchup for my Weavile. Go to Weavile, we have Banded Knockoff, 243. Yeah, so I'm not going to count on Calyrex Shadow being good, but I'm going to count on Weavile being good. They go to Plusle. I Oko. They don't know I'm Banded. Oh, I wasn't guaranteed. I was likely, but not guaranteed. Well, now ignore everything I said about Calyrex Shadow, because now it could be really good. They're going to glide, aren't they? Virizion is pretty safe. They could, it's predictable, so they could U-turn as well. Critical hit, not good. But it does mean they're banded, so I can triple axle now. Without the fear of grassy glide. But also, now that I know they're banded, that's trouble for Calyrex here. So I always triple axle, I'm going to hit... Hopefully, not a uh, Steel-type Pokemon. Okay, this is good. Zekrom is going to go down. They go to Rillaboom now. They don't know I have Cacturn. That's going to be good. Knock off. We can Sucker Punch infinitely. And, okay, we have a 3 on... So Weavile always outspeeds it, so we knock off. Alright, GG. 23-41. Okay, so that ended up comfortable, despite looking a little sketchy early on. And we have another game with Michael, and this time, I have a very good matchup. And we take the kill on turn 1. It was one of those things where it was kind of too obvious to... That I wouldn't supercell slam because if you hit into a ground type it becomes terrible so I kind of predicted the predict in a way and it worked out okay doing only 40 now we trailblaze and they feint to play rough maybe they're likely to but they're not guaranteed though yeah okay uh we get a facade here they go to fortress okay 
all things considered good value. We weakened a lot of Pokemon and lucky for us we have a good matchup with Entei into Fortress here. They Terra Water immediately. Do I get the burn? No. Stealth Rock goes up. I don't really mind that. I'm gonna go Gastrodon, I think. They're gonna get layers up. I can't stop the layers from going up. I can also just uh, keep fishing for damage and burn right now. Because Fortress can't damage me. Yeah, Volt Switch is not doing enough. They have Minior, but I have Gastrodon, and then I have Scizor in the back too. So I don't want to play... I don't want to play it bad. Gastrodon. Clear Smog. Recover. And I don't know if we... They go or Shifu. Is it Bandit? We don't know. I'm gonna... They, they can't know I have a Ghost type. They Swords Dance. Now I'm in trouble. I'm gonna have to Terra. Yeah, I, I had to do it. And I'll do it again on Swords Dance here, because I might go for... Nope. That probably wasn't good. Still fine, though. Okay. I have Extreme Speed and I have Bullet Punch. So, Scizor wins the game from here. Just have to play it carefully. Uh, I'm banded. So, we'll pick up Urshifu. And the fact that I have I have the unrevealed Scizor is huge. This is going to do a lot. At the Volt Switch. Yeah. Okay. Into Espeon. They go to RC, it's dark now. I don't even faint to Fire Blast. And I still have my Scizor in the back. Do I go to it now or later? They don't have Terra left either. Yeah, so I always go go lurk because of dynamic punch to guarantee damage. Okay. And bullet punch scissor in the back. It's going to be good. Overall, we just had a good matchup. Uh this didn't matter the uh, confusion. So, overall a good matchup. Maybe thumbnail worthy? I mean, random battles is a game of aggregates, right? Because you're not always going to get a good matchup, always going to get a good lead matchup. Even within the game, there's variance with, you know, plays and, you know, 50-50s, right? So it's really more helpful not to think of, you know, individual games like, oh, I beat this person one or two times and more of, you know, what's your elo on the ladder? Do you average around 2400 or do you average around 2300, 2200? That's a more meaningful way of thinking about the game. We'll go Dawn fan on Ampharos here. Confirmed choice specs will have a free stealth rock too. That's convenient. They go to Granbull. Granbull is going to be annoying, but I, I guess I can trade damage. The funny thing is I still have Volt Absorb on Thunderous here. Rillaboom too. Embor is good. I think I'm going to trade damage Dawnfan to Granbull. If they go to a flying type, they go to that, I don't care either. I have Glalie, I have Thunderous too. 224 is tricky though. Playing against 224 is going to be tough. We do faint to close combat. Actually, this is annoying. I'm going to have to Terra Ghost my Glalie by the looks of it. Uh, yeah. They Terra Rock? Why did they do that? Oh, I get lucky with the Flare Blitz burn. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if they should have Terra Rock there. I don't... Close Combat would have gotten me. They didn't have to Terra Rock. In fact, they made themselves weaker by Terra Rocking. Uh, Terra Grass Woodhammer just rocks Grand Bull here. Okay. Now, 5 to 4, we have the Stealth Rock advantage. They go to Blaziken. Uh, uh oh, great. I, I would hammer. I just want raw damage. They protect, okay? That means they have their uh, close combat. They don't have Swords Dance, probably. I guess they could. They could have Swords Dance. 
The tricky thing for me... You know what? Rillaboom's too good of a Pokemon. If there's a Pokemon I'm going to give up, it's going to be Glalie. Even better that it lived the hit. The key is now we, we stalled out Grassy Terrain, we can go to Donphan, and our Earthquake is actually going to do damage. They go to Oranguru. That's tricky. 36, okay. Not bad. Again, you have to be careful. I'm okay with going Rillaboom here. Now we have Knockoff. And again, we have to manage the terrain correctly. And they don't have Terra, right? They go to Gardevoir. I just pick that. I don't get the KO, but I get good damage. Now I go to Thunderous here. I have... Their Scarf. And I didn't... Oh, the special attack drop means I didn't even KO. I lose now. That special, that special attack drop means I lose here. 132. 147. Okay. I could have Thunderbolted, but I was scared of Ampharos coming in. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Now, we'll Rapid Spin for damage. Okay. Now... Blaziken has to protect. So I have to dodge Fire Blast is what it comes down to. No, I don't have to dodge Fire Blast. I can Earthquake. Now, here's the thing. Fire Blast is a 50% chance to KO, and then you add the Fire Blast accuracy into the picture, and they. I'm likely to win. Not guaranteed, but likely. Let's go for it. Come on. Let's go, Donphan. We were likely to live that, and now Donphan's going to pick up Ampharos too. This became a little sketchy at the end, but... Now we win with Arceus fighting.